rescued from the U.S. Embassy to Dili by Delta forces stationed at the nearby training grounds of the Timorese Defense Force. All but one of the hostages have been accounted for, though. Continue to voice protest at Japan's formation of an information self-defense force, promising sanctions of both responded to General Kellner's announcement of increased U.S. military presence in East Timor with cautious support, justifiably wary of the response from neighboring... Welcome to Paris. You'll have time for sightseeing later. Thanks, Lambert. Grimm extracted enough from Sonier's security systems to trace Mortify Penguin's movements, but we don't know why, what he wants, or who he is. Is he still inside? Hard to say. The man's cover is rock solid. Are you saying he's CIA? If he is, he's under deeper cover than I've ever seen. We've got intel linking him to at least a dozen French Syrian terrorists. As mortified Penguin? The email alias is all we've got. It's ridiculous, but that's probably the point. Like the smiley face on a cobra's hood. What's up everyone, Sinistrans here, one back at you with more Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Pandor tomorrow. This is, I believe, mission number two. I hope you guys enjoyed the first mission. Kind of, uh, just getting back into the use of playing this game. Hopefully, I'm not too rested still. I'm gonna try to get through all these sections here without taking any guards out, or should I say knocking them out. Uh, I, I, like, I, I pretty much always wanted to play these games, uh, kind of the way I think Sam Fisher would play them. And, you know, if he doesn't have to take anyone out, well, damn it, neither will I. So I believe this mission takes place in Paris, France. Definitely one of the more memorable missions for this game. This is kind of when the action finally starts to pick up and things are, you know, moving along. What? What? I thought you said something. You're jumpy. Calm down. How long do you think it'll take them to find the Frenchmen? What do you mean, Frenchmen? We're all Frenchmen here. I mean the French Frenchmen. The security guard? Yeah. I don't know. He must have found a pretty good hiding place if they still don't have him. I hope the others don't leave without us. Alright, so we can pretty much sneak by these guys, just kind of wait for them to start their patrol patterns here. This is live commentary, by the way. So I thought you guys would appreciate that. I'll try to come up with a, some funny things on the fly, but we'll see how it is. Alright, looks like we're good. You guys are lucky. You get to go home to your wives tonight, or boyfriends, whatever you prefer. I don't judge. Alright, so we're not going to be using our SC-20K at all, as far as uh, the bullets go. We will be, however, using the uh, alternate fires, which is all the gadgets and stuff like that. But I want that trophy that you get for only firing your 5.7. Good, you're in. Grimm's daughter suggests first accessing the security terminal on your floor, so she can investigate network activity in the complex. She can't do it remotely. No, the important files are off the grid. His case file says the Founder was worried about the government stealing his client's files when the apocalypse rolls around. Paranoia-based security. That's our mantra. Alright, so there's no point in taking any of this guy out as well. And it looks like there's nothing on that computer. Alright, let's have some fun with these guys, though. Who did that? Who did that? Pretty much you need to stick as close to these walls so you don't get caught. I can sneak right by them. Oh, I heard the light come back on. Hey, I can't. <laughs> Turn it back off, doofus. Alright. I'm a little rusty on this. I'm playing with a controller that uh, my dog ate. So the, the thumbsticks, the nubs are kind of gone and missing, so I'm playing on the plastic part. Which makes it very difficult to actually control Sam Fisher, so... <laughs> just thought I'd let you guys know. Yep, welcome back, Nintendo. Search every inch of the auditorium. We never know. Alright, so these guys pretty much got like a search pattern, but you can easily just wait until they all enter the room and sneak right by them. However, since we've got the time right now, we're going to go ahead and switch over to 
uh, sticky cam because we're going to be using the sticky cams up ahead to take out the two kind of mandatory guys that we have to in order to continue with the mission. All right, so here we go. Confirmed. The basement is clear. I repeat, basement clear. I proceed now and destroy all the computers. Fisher, we need those access codes. All right, now I'm going to switch to the ring air for a round. Take him out quickly. All right, good. We'll turn off the light. And definitely pick up some satchels if we have another one. Let's see. Yeah, we do. All right, me, because I'm ho ho. If I'm going to take somebody out, I'm not just going to leave them out in the open. Let me put them somewhere where I know that if the light source turns on, then I'm fine. I am guessing that when that blinks on the bottom right there, that means that if I hide a body there, then it is perfectly, uh, there's no way they could see you. I'm guessing. I have no idea if that is actually right or not, but it's the only time it actually flashes when you have a body. So, and as you can see, it's it flashes when it's at the very, very bottom low. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but I, I obviously can't confirm that. All right, let's check out the computer. I'm in. Great work, Fisher. What do we got, Grim? Let's see. Mortified Penguin cracked their system directories. Looks like all of his attention was focused on the client databases. Meaning, he was looking for specific frozen dead men. What do the client databases say? Nothing from here. It's a separate network. Oh my god. What? All right, so before we continue, let me go ahead and switch back to my pistol. I, I want to make sure I don't what? accidentally The mercenaries fire. just remote triggered a bomb timer. Where is it? The signal is coming from the boiler room, further down the corridor. All right, so if I remember correctly, these guys, they do a kind of a little sweep, but they will leave and plenty of time for you to actually deactivate the bomb without alerting them or even having to take them out. wait for this last guy here to leave and this is kind of reminiscent of one of the levels that I did uh, Kalina Tech in Splinter Cell 1 if you so go check out that level there was actually kind of a bomb dis, dis uh, defusal pretty much just quick lock pick here I'm not really worried about time because I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do the same thing that I did last time. You don't have time. much time. Hurry up. I know. All right. So my goal is to get it at the same spot that I did last time. Let's see if I can do it, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta kind of let the clock wind down a little bit. But if you did not watch my previous video of this, see if you can tell me what movie this is from. Okay, done. Well done. Now you can access the database. That's one floor up, and your next objective. That was actually perfect, too. As far as, like, uh, the exact time that it needed to be on. Wow, I'm actually pretty... I'm proud of myself. Shinner Strain, you have outdone yourself. Alright, looks like we are back after the load. Looks like we got a motion detector up ahead, so we definitely want to walk softly but carry a big stick and we're Sam Fisher so we got the biggest stick possible that's right uh, looks like we got some enemies up ahead Ooh, look at that guy look at that pose he's a badass you don't want to mess with him huh Actually, you know what? You're lucky, brother. We're gonna make you think you're a badass, okay? Just sneak right by him. Let's get this door open before he finds out. Oh, all right, sweet. I found the guard on the security cameras. Uh-oh. I think you were right. It looks like he's behind that big bolt-type door. The label on the monitor says, Body Processing Room. I'm inside the client storage database. 
I'm tapped. Taking a look, see? I see at least eight clients Mortified Penguin pulled up in detail. Anything in common? All frozen in the last six months, and all cheapskates. They all booked economy tickets to the future, just their brains frozen. The low-end storage device is called an ND-133, vacuum-powered refrigeration. Where did Mortified Penguin hit next? Limited storage. It's where Saulnier stows all the ND-133s. That sounds like your next objective, Fisher. Find us some French brains. I won't promise anything. Do your best. Details on your opset. Alright, it looks like we got a guard up ahead, which the light is shining on the door, so we're obviously going to need to take maybe take his light out, get his attention. Where did that come from? Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to take him out. It's all right, buddy. I'm only gonna knock you out just for a little while. You're gonna still be able to go home to your wife, and you got a satchel, and I'm sure we're gonna need it. So there was a motion detector out there. Yep. So still gonna walk soft. Uh, it looks like we got a camera up ahead. As you can see, I'm still using my pistol because I will not be using the SC20K since I want that trophy. And we got a wall mine up ahead, so... Which was actually in the same mission that we were talking about earlier. Which was Kalina Tech, the same with the bomb defusal. Alright, looks like we're good. There is a light, let's go ahead and check to make sure there's nothing going on up ahead. I see one enemy. And it looks like he's heading towards the computer, I think we're good. Oh, I see two enemies. Shit. Alright, so one guy at the computer and one guy all the way over there. Let's see what they do. See where we're supposed to go. Looks like, uh, there's a... We probably need some password or something like that. Okay, this guy looks like he's moving somewhere. Let's get into a dark area here. Alright, that guy's moving as well. Okay, so they're both coming here. Oh man, it looks like we're gonna have to take probably both of these guys out. I don't see a satchel on this guy here. Alright, he's in the dark. Alright, where's this guy at? Actually, I don't see him. There he is. Okay. And he does have a satchel on him, so we're going to have to take him out. If he goes to the computer, we might be able to. There we go. Ooh, he hit his head, too, on the... Oh, that was... Dude, I'm so sorry, man. You're going to have a headache later, but your wife will still love you in the morning. Alright, so I think maybe with that satchel, we got a code to actually get through here. And the flashing light means we should be good to s delay the body. Whoa, hey. Papa Dino's Pizzeria. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, let's see. Does the code pop up when we get next to it? Uh, yes, it does. 7562. Uh, yeah. I've got your French brains, Lambert. So that's what happened to them. Mortified dumped the clients and took the ND-133. I guess we can assume he's not CIA, if he's willing to murder. Murder frozen organs. You can't murder the dead. Semantics. I think we've got a way to ID the Penguin. The security guard everybody's so excited about? His name is Francois Coldebuff. Our intercepts suggest he got a lucky picture of Mortified Penguin with his cell phone was wounded and locked himself inside body processing. Processing? Where they pull the brains out of the skull. 
Introduce yourself to Mr. Kodabuff and get that phone. Ooh, I remember this part. There's definitely, like, you have a very, a good opportunity of actually taking some damage here. You gotta watch out for these things. These vents. So we gotta time our movements here. I'm at the body processing room, and it looks like you were right. Norman said he wounded the guard, and there's blood on the door handle. Don't stop searching the rest of this dungeon, but I'm gonna need some help to get past this door. It's built like a vault. Alright, since we're trying to go through this without taking any damage, we definitely need to uh, figure it out. Alright, there we go. I think there's guards up there, yep. Come on, Sam Fisher. Sweet. Like I said, this is a uh, no damage playthrough. The only one that you're gonna find online, I guarantee you. Well, I guess a guarantee is as good as a piece of shit. I can't say. Oh, I cannot see. I'm gonna move slow though. All right, looks like there's our objective. All right, I think we're good. Stop! Stop! It's obviously not working. What would you suggest? I'm sure there's some kind of fuel in this place we could use. Take a look. We'll keep trying here. Maybe if we can't reach the guard, you can cook them. Don't hurt me, please. I'm just doing my job. I'm not here to add to your troubles. Are you badly hurt? No. I'm living, I think. You are? I'm from the phone company. There's been a recall. What? I'm gonna need to take your telephone. I... I'm very confused. Give me the phone, Francis. So that's Mortified Penguin. Compliment Mr. Kodabuff on his photography. We got a facial match off CIA databases. Norman Soth, U.S. citizen. What's that ID code? Does it mean he's an agency asset? No, it means they don't know. I'm running him through Echelon. We could have a location on him within the hour. Great work, everybody. Make yourself scarce, Fisher. Cohen's waiting outside for extraction. Right. Right what? Uh, nothing. Let me talk to him though. Oh shit, what's going on? Maybe we should just get the hell out of here. I think we actually, in order to, oh come on. I think we gotta shoot something here. Yeah, right there. I hear something. Yep, that released the uh, air pressure over here. All right, I think we're good. Sweet, another flawless playthrough. Hope you guys enjoyed. Shaboom! Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And like I said, there's going to be new videos coming out for Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow. Somewhere around every other day. I just want to get uh, some views on and get them kind of out there a little bit so people can search for them if they're looking for them and they kind of show up a little better. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Lots more gameplay. I got some more um, question and answer updates coming up very soon. Don't forget again to like this as much as you can. Hit that like button. Love it. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Bitches.